Good morning, students. Let's continue with our chapter five. Another topic: conservation of minerals. As we know that minerals take millions of years to form, so today the increasing world's population and the demands of more and more people to have higher standard of living, the resulted in the increased use of. mineral resources minerals are non renewable resources once consumed they are completely exhausted and cannot be regenerated soon it takes millions of years to regenerate so it is our duty that we have to conserve this minerals part how the ways to conserve mineral wealth are recycling recycling metal scrap to make new products metals like iron gold silver and aluminium once discarded can be reused by recycling so first of all we have to use this way to conserve mineral recycling avoiding wastage using available resources carefully and minimizing wastage substitutes third point is substitutes alternatives to mineral like biodegradable plastic wood plastic wood and other substitutes should be more widely used hope students that you are familiar with the word biodegradable then and also i just one time explain this word biodegradable in the sense or means any product that can be easily mixes with the soil with the help of a water oxygen and the sun's ray so the bio um, like biodegradable plastic wood and other substitutes should be more widely used and the fourth point is using advanced and efficient technology for mining with the help of this four points we can conserve our mineral wealth next topic is power resources power resources are those resources which are used to generate coal petroleum and natural gas okay again i am repeating power resources are those resources which are used to generate power they are what they are coal petroleum and natural gas first of all we will take the topic as a source of power we will take coal coal is also known as fossil fuel not only coal coal petroleum and natural gas are coming in this group or we can say they are mineral fuels or fossil fuel again i am repeating coal petrol uh, coal petroleum and natural gas are also known as fossil fuels they have formed over millions of years from dead and decay plants and animals now i have written few points regarding the coal 
Now listen it very carefully students. Coal is organic in nature. First line is coal is organic in nature. Organic in the sense made up of living matter. So coal is organic in nature. It is obtained from decayed plants got buried under sediments. It is mostly found in sedimentary rocks. The decomposed and were compressed under subsequent deposits in course of time due to action of heat and pressure they transformed into coal. There is a little history of coal. Coal was the basis of the industrial revolution in the late 18th century. It was used to produce steam power which provided the main driving force in running machinery in factories, railway locomotives and ships also. Afterwards, coal was used to generate thermal electricity. Coal is available in four varieties. First one is the anthracite, bituminous, lignite and peat. What is anthracite? Anthra anthracite is the finest quality of coal with about 90% carbon. One picture I have of anthracite. This is the picture of anthracite. Another one is the bituminous. What is this? Bituminous is the most widely available while lignite and peat are inferior varieties of coal. The world's largest coal reserves are in Russia and another countries are the USA, China, Ukraine, Poland, South Africa, India, Australia, the UK and Germany also have rich coal reserves. Now little we have to read Regarding the topic coals, we will take the India's part little broadly. In India, states like Jharkhand, Odisha, Chhattisgarh, West Bengal, Madhya Pradesh, Telangana and Maharashtra are rich in coal. Actually, they are accounted for 98.09% of the total known coal reserves in India. Two more important points. You just write it in your notebook also. Dhanbad also commonly known as the coal capital of India. Why? Because Jharia coal field is one of the oldest and also richest coal fields of India. It stores the best of bituminous in the country. So, these three points about the India what I have discussed, you just mention it in your notebook. The states of the India's which are rich in coal and about the Dhanbad and Jharia what I have explained in this notebook you just write it down in your fair notebook okay on the basis of today's explanation You just do 
टूडे यू जस्ट ट्राई टू कम्प्लीट स्टूडेंट्स क्वेश्चन नंबर ए बी एंड सी दिस थ्री क्वेश्चन यू डू एज अ होमवर्क ओके इन नेक्स्ट डे वी विल डिस्कस लास्ट टू टॉपिक्स ऑफ दिस चैप्टर पेट्रोलियम एंड नेचुरल गैस लिटिल यू जस्ट रीड इट एंड वॉट आई हैव एक्सप्लेन यू टूडे इन दिस वीडियो just to go through with that topics what is given in your book conservation of minerals power resources and sources of power the first topic is coal just read this page number 47 also carefully and also listen the video what i have explained here thank you and have a nice day to all of your students